What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV, and um, in this video, I'm talk about Brandon Ingram with the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, of course, it's been announced by the Lakers organization that he's been ruled out for the season. He's been diagnosed with deep vein thrombosis, which is a serious uh, medical condition. And um, <clears throat> the last couple of games, Ingram had been experiencing pain in his, I believe, right arm. To the point where he couldn't raise his arm even without pain. And um, it's very concerning to me, this injury. Um, actually, it's more than injury. It's, it's a condition. Um, you know, this is a type of situation where it goes beyond just basketball. And this is a condition that is life-threatening, potentially. Um, I think I read somewhere something like 30,000 Americans uh, die each year from complications of deep vein thrombosis. That's a lot of people. You know what I mean? Um, the main complication that can happen is that the clot can travel. It can break off from the original site where, especially a bigger clot, where it's discovered and it can go to your lungs your heart, and I guess even your brain. Um, that's not good. Um, well, you know, when we think about this, we already think about Chris Bosch. Of course, we all remember Chris Bosch. Chris Bosch uh, played in the NBA for quite a while. Um, one of the better power forwards in the game during his career. Start off with the Toronto Raptors. And, of course, it was during his tenure with the Miami Heat. And most of us remember uh, he was a big contributor to those championship Miami Heat teams. Of course, two NBA championships during a four-year span. But Bosch had to prematurely retire due to blood clots. And it was a consistent issue, issue with, with uh, Chris Bosch. To the point where his life would have been at stake um, if he continued playing. And of course, like I said, he had to ultimately retire from basketball. Another person that comes to mind is uh, David Bloom. Now, if you're a younger person, you might not remember him, but David Bloom was an anchor and reporter with NBC. Uh, he was a rising star with NBC uh, News. Uh, throughout the 90s, early 2000s, and um, he infamously died during the Iraq War. So I think it was during the earlier days of the Iraq War, where he suffered an embolism, which was caused by a blood clot, a deep vein thrombosis. And um, I remember people, when the news first broke that he had passed, most people thought that, you know, being that he was in the action and in danger, they thought maybe he got shot, explosion or something like that. So when it got out that he died of an embolism, it was very shocking. Um, so he was only 39 years old, so it was like a tremendous tragedy uh, for the NBC family and for those who enjoyed watching him on television. Some of you uh, might remember Steve Bridges. Steve Bridges was very popular back in the 2000s for his uh, uncanny uh, impersonation of George W. Bush uh, via prosthetics and near perfect mimicry of the former president. Uh, Steve Bridges died of an embolism when he was only 48 years old. And 
but not least, uh, actor Wendell Middlebrooks, who probably is best known for his role in a series of Metal Light commercials a couple of years ago, passed away. He was only 36 years old due to an embolism from blood clots. And uh, basically, I'm just trying to emphasize how deadly deep vein thrombosis can be, especially if left untreated. And uh, that's why I'm concerned about Brandon Ingram. I think my biggest concern with Brandon Ingram at this point is it's beyond this season. This season is lost. Okay. It's beyond this season. I'm, I'm concerned about whether or not this is going to be a chronic issue with him, with the blood clots. I hope it's not because I know Serena Williams had an issue with blood clots at one point in time, but she was able to recover from that and to resume her playing career. Like I said, Chris Bosch, however, on the other hand, this was a chronic issue with him to the point where he has to take medications for the rest of his life and he had to ultimately retire from basketball. And the thing, too, is that Brandon Ingram is so young. Like, uh, I don't know exactly how old he is, but I'm assuming he's like maybe 23 years old or something like that. He's very young, man. It'll be a real, it'll be a real, I don't want to say tragedy, but it'll be a real, like, shame, you know, if he had to retire from basketball that young due to a medical condition um, like this. Um, but I'm glad he's taking it seriously, man, you know, as most people should. I remember reading about David Bloom, the person I talked about earlier. The doctors had actually discovered the deep vein thrombosis prior to his passing, but he decided to have that the show must go on thing. I'm a reporter. I got to report the news. I'm, I got to stay in the trenches and blah, 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 blah. And he took a gamble and he lost and he uh, paid that price with his life. Uh, another person that comes to mind I didn't mention earlier is former President Richard Nixon. Uh, when he was mired in uh, Watergate, he decided to go on a uh, trip to the Middle East to help to de-escalate the tension that was going on in that region at the time. And he suffered a recurrence of his uh, deep vein thrombosis. His condition was um, called uh, phlebitis. And he was told that at any time he could suffer the fatal embolism. He took a gamble. Luckily for him, he didn't uh, suffer an embolism, but uh, you don't want to take that gamble. And um, I just hope that Brandon Ingram is able to continue with his playing career. Uh, and the thing, too, is that he had really turned his season around. Um, he admitted to starting off the season playing poorly by his standards. Uh, but the last couple of games, he had been awesome. The last six games, he had averaged nearly 28 points from the field and shot 57% from the floor. For the season, he was averaging a career high 18.3 points and 5.1 rebounds. And um, he was playing the best basketball of his career at the time that he went down. And, um, you know, it's just that, I don't know, if I sound like kind of subdued in this video, it's just that I know what this medical condition is and I know how serious it is. And this is like beyond, like I said, basketball. This is a condition that can take you out. And there's really not much I can talk about because I don't know his, the, the full extent of everything. You know what I'm saying? Like if it's a small clot, 
you still are concerned, but you're not as concerned if it's a large clot or if it's a situation where this is a medical condition that he's going to consistently have issues with, like Chris Bosch. So it's like, that's why I'm so like concerned. Um, they're not talking about it like that because they don't know everything that's going on. I understand that. But I'm talking about it because I know what that condition can can create. And most people who have this condition, they're able to, with medication, um, like a Chris Bosch, like they're able to take medication and they can live normal lives. But they don't play basketball, which is a physical contact sport. You know what I'm saying? So that changes things. Like, but I don't know, man. Tell me what you guys think, man.